Our results find that drinkers earn more, and our hypothesis is that drinkers have better social networks. And if you know more people, chances are you're going to know more potential c customers, clients, employers, and that's going to increase your earnings. For women who drink, they earn 14% more money than an otherwise similar woman who doesn't drink. Now, the question of whether women go to bars, that doesn't seem to affect their earnings. So women earn 14% more money regardless of whether they go to bars. From a cardiovascular standpoint, there's an advantage to, to drink mild or, or light to a moderate amount. No question, it's, it's been shown over and over again statistically. There are fewer uh, myocardial infarctions or heart attacks. Uh, the survival rate is better if you do have one. And uh, the incidence of strokes are decreased. However, if you go beyond the mild to moderate quantity, then uh, for women, for example, they'll have brain hemorrhages that don't occur at a lower level of consumption. Now the question is, is there social capital? Is it drinking in public? that makes the difference. I think the study is very plausible. And I'd like to see a little further data. I'd like to see further research that looks at people, what do they drink? Do they drink wine? Do they drink beer? Do they drink in bars as the study tests? What about restaurants? And what about people who just go out and golf and maybe don't drink and have lemonade and iced tea? I'd like to see a comparison of all of that. But for me, the study is very plausible, and I think it's, uh, it's a, a very uh, nice addition to the economic literature. I'm a trial lawyer. I regularly meet with clients, co-consul, opposing consul, over lunch or dinner. Sometimes we'll go to a bar just and have some wine, but uh, more typically a meal. And it's a very nice way, it's a relaxed setting, and it's a very nice way to talk about issues in a case, to try to resolve cases with opposing consul, to learn to prepare clients uh, for uh, the eventualities that come in, in a lawsuit. Orange oil, I pour that all over. Drink sort of brings up those essential oils. This is what I want to teach you is advanced move is holding it like this. And if you hold it like this, no one will bother you. But let's just, for <laughs> argument's sake, for my particular argument's sake, let's just say they don't, someone is off that evening and... Red wine has 20% more antioxidants than white wine. There's also this chemical component found in red wine, that white wine, that isn't in white wine. It's called resveratrol. And this helps to fight against cancer, boost your immune system, and even prolong your life.